Question. How do I pray as the Prophet wasallam used to pray? Answer. The person praying must intend the prayer that they are performing and align their heart with it. When getting ready to pray, they should face the Kaaba in obligatory and voluntary prayers, just as the Prophet wasallam used to do. They should pray while standing, but if they are unable to do so, they can pray while sitting. If they are unable to sit, they can pray while lying on their side. Then they should begin the prayer by making the takbir by saying Allahu Akbar, meaning Allah is the greatest. While looking at the place of prostration, they should raise their hands with the takbir, either before or after it at the same time. He aligns his hands with his shoulders and his, or his ears. They should place their hands on their chest after the takbir with the right hand on top of the left hand. This applies to both men and women. Before starting recitation, he should start by supplications that are authentically narrated from the Prophet ﷺ and from them is saying, Subhanakallahum wa bihamdik wa tabarak asmuk wa ta'ala jadduk wa la ilaha ghayruk. After the opening supplications, they should seek refuge in Allah, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajeem, and say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, meaning in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. They should recite the surah, entire of Surah Al-Fatiha in every raka'ah of the prayer. It is recommended to recite another surah after Al-Fatiha. After finishing the recitation, they should remain silent for a moment, then raise their hands again similar to the initial takbir and bow down into rukur. They should place their hands on their knees with their fingers apart as if gripping their knees. They should straighten their back making it parallel to the ground and keep their head level with their back. They should keep their elbows away from their sides. In the state of Rukur, they should feel tranquility and say Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim, Glory be to my Rabb the Most Great. It is preferable to repeat this phrase three times or more. It is also recommended to say other prescribed the Kir during Rukur. While rising from Rukur, he should say Sami Allahu Liman Hamida. Allah hears those who praise Him, whether they are leading the congregation or individually. They should raise their hands at this point, similar to the initial takbir, then stand upright, feeling at ease, until every bone and joint is in its place. They should place their hands on their chest and say, Rabbana wa lakan hamd, or our Rabb, to you be the praise. Whether they are an imam, praying individually or behind an imam, then they prostrate themselves, saying, Allahu Akbar, placing their, hands, uh, placing their knees on the ground before their hands, if it is easy for them. But if it is difficult, they may place their hands before their knees. When they prostrate, they rely on their palms, spread them out, and bring their fingers together, directing them towards the qibla. They, they keep their palms aligned with their shoulders, sometimes aligning them with their ears. They set their arms off the ground to firmly set their nose and forehead on the ground, as well as the knees and the tips of their feet, straightens them and faces the qibla with the tips of their toes, and keeps their heels together. Their reliance and prostration should be on, on the parts involved in prostration, the forehead, the nose, both palms, both knees, and the tips of their feet. In prostration they say, Subhana Rabbi Ala, Glory be to my Rabb the Most High. It is preferable to repeat it three times or more. It is also recommended to say other prescribed remembrances during prostration. It is recommended to increase in supplication, dua, during prostration as it is the time when it is most helpful of their prayers being answered. Then they raise their head while making takbir and, and sit in a state of tranquility until every boon returns to its place. They spread their left foot and sit on it, keeping their right foot upright, facing the qibla with their right, toe, right foot's toes. They place their hands on their thighs and knees. In this sitting position they say, Rabbi ghfirli, Rabbi ghfirli, my Rabb forgive me, or they can say, Rabbi ghfirli warhamni wahdini wahdini warzuqni wa'afini wajburni. My Rabb forgive me, have mercy on me, guide me, provide for me, grant me afu and fix my affairs, or any other prescribed akal between the two prostrations. And then they say, Allahu Akbar, and prostrate for the second time, doing the same as they did in the first prostration. When they raise their head from the second prostration and intend to rise for the second rak'ah, they make takbir. Sometimes they may sit briefly like a light sitting between the prostrations known as jasat al-istiraha. If they leave it, there is no harm and it does not require any specific dhikr or supplication. 
then they rise standing for the second unit relying on their knees if it is easy for them if it is difficult they may rely on the ground and do the same as they did in the first raka except that they do not recite the opening supplication when they finish the second raka they sit for the tashahud in a and sit in a relaxed position as mentioned before between the two prostrations they place their right palm on their right thigh and right knee and the end of their right elbow on their right thigh keeping it close they spread their left palm on their left th thigh and left knee and clench the fingers of their right hand placing the thumb on the middle finger at times and forming a circle at other times they point with their index finger towards the qibla meaning the direction of prayer as a sign of tawheed to single out Allah in worship then they recite the tashahud in this sitting then they rise for the third rak'ah if the prayer is three or four rak'ahs raising their hands in line with their shoulders or ears saying Allahu Akbar they place their hands on their chest as mentioned before they recite only al-fatiha in this rak'ah however if they occasionally recite something additional after al-fatiha in the third or and fourth rak'ah of Dhuhr prayer there is no problem after completing the third rak'ah, they rise for the fourth rak'ah just as they did in for the second rak'ah. Then they sit for the final tashahud, performing the same actions as they did in the first tashahud. However, they spread their left foot, placing it under their right ankle and extend it out from the right side, keeping their right foot upright and their foot and flat on the ground. They recite the tashahud along with the salutations upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then they seek refuge in Allah from four things. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min adhab jahannam wa min adhab al-qabr wa min fitnat al-mahya wa al-mamat wa min sharri fitnat al-masih al-dajjal. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the punishment of hellfire, the punishment of the grave, the trials of life and death, and the evils of the trial of the dajjal. Then they supplicate for themselves with what is apparent to them, seeking what benefits them in their religion or the worldly affairs. Finally, they offer the salam, Islamic greeting to the right, As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah, until the right cheek becomes clear. Then they offer the salam to the left in the same manner, and this concludes their prayer.